Hi, and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're making a trash grabber project. This is a very quick, very easy project that uses minimal supplies. And for the more complicated steps, you can actually pre-do those steps to make it even easier if you're working with young children or have a very limited uh, time availability for this project. So here's our basic supplies that we'll need to do this project. And these are the templates. The templates are available for free on the Steam Powered Family website. There's a link in the information, the description below, where you can go over and grab this template. We're going to start by marking our jumbo craft sticks. It's really important that these marks are done accurately, and that ensures that everything hinges perfectly and will move evenly and nothing bows or goes off center when it's moving. So this one we're actually going to score. These are going to be the fingers on the ends of the arms of our trash grabber. So we're just using a box cutter here to score these pieces. And then we're going to take a little sandpaper and just sand down so they're nice and smooth. And we need a total of four of those fingers for each of the arms. So there's our prepared pieces. And now this shows this the assembly. So we're going to start by using a glue gun and gluing some of the pieces together. We're going to have both uh, staple joints that are going to be glued together, as well as moving joints that are going to be held together with split pins. So there are two types of joints here. So first we're gluing the fingers on, and there's two fingers on the end of each arm. And we'll just do the other one really quick here. And we're just using a pencil to make sure that we keep everything at the right angle. Again, the angles are really important on this project, so it really helps to make sure that that is done correctly. So there's our two arms with their little fingers on the end. And now we're going to do a right angle, and we're going to use one pre-drilled piece that's got two holes drilled in it, and one uh, craft stick that does not have any drill points in it. And that's going to be our handle. So there we go, we glue one side and then we're going to flip over and we're going to add another one on the other side. There we go. And those are our handle pieces. So now we've made the handles and we've made our finger ends. It's time to start putting together the middle piece. And for this, we're going to use split pins as these are all of our hinge points that are going to move as we use our trash grabber. This is really easy to do. You simply push the push, push pins through and then trim the ends. And we're just using a side cutter to trim those ends really easily. And again, if that is a little advanced for the level of your students, you could pre-trim your push pins, or you might even be able to find some that have slightly shorter legs. There we go. And we're just gonna keep lining up and building as we go through and putting it all together. And each of these split pin joints are going to be movable joints, kind of like the knuckles on your fingers. They're going to be moving whenever we use our trash grabber. And this is a great project to do either as part of Earth Day, as part of, to make like a schoolyard cleanup really fun, summer camp, STEM camp, scouts. Uh, there's so many different uh, projects that could be incorporated with this. And it's a great chance to talk about cleaning up the environment and how we need to keep our neighborhoods nice and clean. Plus kids have a lot of fun using their personalized trash grabbers when they're cleaning up. So there we go, there's all of our hinge points all together and our trash grabber is working and ready to go and pick up some trash. Now we did go through and drilled some extra holes and added some more split pins just because we found it made uh, a bit more structural integrity for our piece. You can decide whether you want to do that with yours or not. And then you can go and start using it. As I said, this uh, design is very simple and very basic, so it only picks up lighter objects. However, we love the idea of challenging our older students to come up with ways of making this design stronger and able to pick up heavier objects. So one of the things you might notice is that things might slip out of those fingers. So how can you make those fingers more grippy? We could use rubber bands, craft foam, toothpicks, and then also you can make designs that are stronger using your ingenuity. For this and more STEM activities, visit steampoweredfamily.com. Have a great day. Bye for now.